welcome to podcast number one. Again, my apologies for the late posting, just uh, some production uh, sort of mishaps and schedule problems here at the beginning, but we'll work the kinks out uh, uh, by the end of the week and everything should be running uh, pretty smoothly. Okay, to, in today's podcast, I want to uh, finish up the introduction to the course and then uh, get you to the first assignment. So here we are in uh, module one, and you can see we have uh, a page that's been set up for podcasts one through four. So you'll see this in every module, right? Uh, and podcast one is uh, what, why, how, IH. And we have four elements uh, that want to be covered. So critical thinking uh, through the critical thinking rubric, technologizing the text via categories or problematics, writing the discussion board uh, according to the critical thinking sort of grid, and then looking at the syllabus poster. So let's get right to it. Let's look at the critical thinking rubric, right? So this uh, is a assessment rubric um, that I use um, when I am looking at your work, uh, whether it, you're speaking in the seminar, writing in the seminar, writing on discussion board, doing your midterm exam, essay, essay exam, or doing your final podcast. So basically critical thinking is critical thinking. These are some elements that you need to consider when you are uh, constructing sort of critical thinking projects, right? So uh, the basic rubric uh, for the course. So number one is contextualization, okay? So what does contextualization mean? This is framing a problem or question as an abstraction philosophizing the problem, and then showing how the problem can be explored through a text. So this is, you know, really a, the key aspect to critical thinking. You have to be able to contextualize, to problematize. You have to be able, you know, from the mass of information, from the uh, plethora of knowledge, right, that is, is floating around in any conversation, uh, you have to be able to uh, frame and conceptualize, narrow down what you're talking about, and then you have to problematize it. So you have to see things as problems in order to analyze anything. If you do not see problems, if you do not conceptualize as problems, you really can't do analysis, okay? You really can't do critical thinking. Uh, so I'll talk about this idea of problematization in the next episode.